Hey guys, welcome to V's World. Um, this is like a little mini tutorial on just how I do my makeup for work, for school, for life. Um, I'm definitely not a makeup artist. I don't claim to be. I don't claim to be a professional. I don't claim to know what I'm doing. I'm just showing you guys what I do. So I start with a little primer and that is the e.l.f. Um, anti-shine primer that I got from CVS for like $1.99 and then I do a little um, I guess it's kind of like a contour um, I have some dark circles under my eye and just watching other tutorials I see that women uh, do like the contour under their eye and then kind of down their nose the bridge of their nose to kind of slim it out a little bit then I go in with my foundation that's the MAC Studio Fix in NW45 I just go through and kind of dab it and smooth it all over make it pretty I go back with a sponge and smooth the contour out and just kind of blend 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 um, and that just kind of brightens up under my eyes and down the bridge of my nose uh, I like to draw a lot of attention to my eyes because I feel like it's my best feature um, but then I go back with my beauty blender and just kind of blend the foundation and the contour out until I get a nice smooth finish I like to go back with a little bit of powder for the contour because I have very oily skin and anything I can do to reduce the shine um, I like to do that so yeah super oily skin um, as far as my eyebrows I haven't really mastered that technique I just do what works best for me and that just kind of fills them in and uh, make them a little darker when I was a little girl I was playing with my babysitter's razor in her bathroom and uh, I shaved my eyebrow off and it never grew back <laughs> the way that it should so that's kind of what I'm left with um, so I like to fill them in um, so I sped that up but I did my eyeshadow I did my eyeliner and now I'm going back with some mascara and for the mascara I like to use the covergirl cat eye and I like to use Lancome uh, I forgot the name of it What's the name of that Lancome anyway it's something about Lancome um, yeah. Oh, and I'm talking, I'm FaceTiming my best friend, which is what all the blabbing is about. I'm not talking to myself. I'm FaceTiming my best friend. And obviously the conversation is bomb.com. Um, but as far, like I said, as far as my eyes, I like to draw as much attention as possible to my eyes because they're huge. And when I was little, I used to get teased about it. People used to call me a frog, bug eyes, Popeye, all kind of stuff. And now it's, one of the things I get the most compliments on is my big brown eyes. So for anyone watching this video, uh, any of the younger kids out there that are being bullied or teased about their features, just know that, um, you know, you're beautiful, regardless of what anyone says, regardless of your race, regardless of your weight, regardless of any disability you may have, you're beautiful. Okay. You have to love yourself before anyone else can. And as you can see, I love myself sometimes <laughs> keeping it real so I go back with just a little bronzer a little highlight and it's my favorite <laughs> it's by Mac uh, just a little here a little there um, and like I said this is my everyday face this isn't me going out to the club this isn't going to an event this is just me going to work uh, this is me going around family this is me running errands so it's a really quick quick fix um, just a little something to kind of smooth out my skin tone uh, cover some blemishes and brighten my eyes kind of give myself a little life but uh yeah so oh I had to go get the hoops y'all had to run and get the hoops yes boo yes serve baby get that hoop in there I had to get the hoops on this one I love a good pair of Jenny from the block hoops I'm sorry but I just feel like in my past life Oh, look at Pobrecita, look. I'm out of lipstick. That's MAC. That's Cyber, my favorite lipstick. And I obviously, it's my favorite because it's all gone. Look, look. The struggle is real. I'll bust a Q-tip out in a second. I'll bust a Q-tip out in a second. It is what it is. Y'all, I keep it so real. I'm sorry, but you got to do what you got to do sometimes. It's coming together nicely, though. Looking back, I'm like, okay, girl. Look at that. I like to mix my lipsticks, too. I like to layer colors, um, textures. I'm all into that. Uh, I don't believe that, you know, 
makeup is one size fits all. It's what you like. You know, I see a lot of tutorials and I'm starting to see the same face on everyone. And that's cool, you know, to each its own. But me personally, I just like to enhance what I already have. I don't want to look like anyone else. I'm sweating. It is so hot in my room. These lights are hot. Like, oh my God, I am sweating. Ting. and i put deodorant on and i put men's deodorant on this is the deodorant that i use ultra max arm and hammer it smells it's men's deodorant well this it smells like a man it smells like mm. it smells like a man just gave you a hug like mm. girl it smells so good but I've, I've been using men's deodorant because in my head it's stronger f than women's deodorant. I don't know what the like logic is in that. But that's what I believe in my little world. It's V's world. It's my channel. So it goes. Um, ver like, I used to use this one. First of all, there was a point in my life where I didn't wear deodorant at all. Because I did some research and I found some shit out. And I was like, oh, fuck that. Going all natural. But, you know, times like this. You wearing great Coachella t-shirts. You might need a little something, something. So I used to wear this one, the lavender joint. I ran out. It's only like a little bit left. So then I was like, all right, I need something a little, you know, something else. So I got this one, the Ultra Max, Ultra Max. Your girl's still sweating. I mean, I smell great. Wait, wait, your girl still what? Sweating. I'm still sweating. I'm still sweaty. Like, why do my underarms sweat? Oh, and I got on gray. I got sweat stains. And I haven't even left my house. <laughs> is this what 30 does to you? Like, is this what happens when you turn 30? My hormones have, like, shifted. I got aches and pains. But that I didn't used to have. Oh, my God. And I'm sweaty. Like, I'm, oh, God. I'm always sweaty. It's so annoying. Anyway, my makeup is done. I feel cute. Um, that's the poor. That's the poor version. That's the poor girl's uh, beat face. Um, I see all these awesome like makeup tutorials. You've seen them too, right? Like where they're like, "Ooh, it's um, I don't even know the like names of these palettes." And oh, it's this and it's that. And oh, we're gonna do a wing and we're gonna blend. And da -da -da. Look, let me tell you something. <laughs> real people do real things. I don't have that kind of bread. So what I do have, I showed you. I put the shit on. This is what my face looks like. I feel pretty. I feel beautiful. And it didn't cost me a lot of money. Some of this stuff came from drugstores. Some of it came from the MAC counter. I'm a big MAC fan. When I can't afford it, I buy it. Um, my brushes came from Sephora. They were a gift. Um, this makeup I've had for a very long time. And it's just the single mom struggle. I want to look nice and I have to, you got to figure it out, right? Like, that's just what it is. You got to fake it till you make it sometimes. So this is my fake. Uh, but I think I look great. You know what I'm saying? Like serving Chonga Realist today, papi. Mm. Anyway, all right, I'm about to cut this short. What? Stop. Why? I'm FaceTiming my best friend. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Oh, I thought she was being shady because she's really petty. She's petty. She's petty. Y'all will meet her one day when she wants to. I'm going to interview her one day, but she's really fucking petty. I love her so much, though. Anyway, bye. Have a good day.